Ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting my gloves on again at the start of every video. <laughs> Look what I got. It's the brand new for 2021 S1000R. So obviously it's an updated model for this year. They've done away with the twin headlights, which we'll get onto in a minute. I'm not quite sure I'm happy about that. I'm gonna give you a bit of a first ride and tell you what I think of it. It has got that beast on it, the Acra Can, which means it sounds really nice. So this is the S1000R Sport. Like I said, it's got the Acra Can, it's got everything on it as usual a lot of people don't quite like the look of this sort of primer gray color and i wasn't a massive fan of it but it's sort of grown on me a bit hello to other me i'm gonna see i've had to tilt this down because i <laughs> every time i ride a bike going quick it just slowly tilts towards me <laughs> so keyless ignition although i just had to fill this up buddy fuel cap's not keyless that's annoying it's just like, you've got keyless ignition, which means your key's in your pocket, you don't need to worry about it. But then you've got to get your key out for this. Which is a bit annoying, but yeah. Bring it to life. Quite arguably, the best TFT on the market. They're just, they're lovely, aren't they? They're just, they're so clear. You've got all the menus and stuff. Navigation, your media, your phone connectivity, and all that sort of kind of thing. This, I think Miss, Miss and the Flyer calls it uh, whiz wheel. Uh, I want to go into sport mode. Can I go into that? How do I go into that? Oh yeah, it gives me lean angle. It's got the M Sport foldable levers, which is quite nice. They're like anodized aluminium, aluminum. And it's got everything else. It's got cruise control. It's got your rider modes, heated grips and everything. But look, listen to this, ready? It's warm already, because I've been riding it for a bit. When it's a cold start, it sounds so much better. So I think I've ridden in road mode. I think we're going to go straight over to dynamic. This has got all the extras. So it's got the dynamic and the dynamic pro and the rain modes. So it's quite good. I like that there's a button for it. With mine, you have to go into a menu and then flick down and whatever. So this has also got the quick shifter and blipper, which is useful. And it, it is buttery smooth, like absolutely buttery smooth. It makes mine feel like I've not even got a quick shifter. Yeah, look how smooth that is. The bike's not moving at all. Got up to fifth gear. Got a van catching up with me. Jesus Christ, this thing's quick. Look, that is stupid quick. I think I said it about the XR, and I think I'm going to say it about this as well, but because it is so smooth, you don't realise how quick you're going. It's just there's no event to going quick. One of the better bits of road on this test route. She's rowing in it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. This is only 160 horsepower, 165 horsepower. Why does that feel so quick? And that was in like third gear. Oh my god. This thing's gonna kill someone. <laughs> that, guy, <laughs> that guy's been standing there at the site entrance and he waved. I rode the R9T before this and he waved at me. And he waved at me before <laughs> when I went past on the R9T. And he's obviously just clocked me on a different bike. Uh funny. Just going back to what I was saying about this paint colour. Now the sun's shining on it, it looks really good. It just looks like a really nice, like, bluey silver. This has got the Acra can on it, like I said before. I probably would take the baffle out. I don't know if you can take the baffle out, because it's a Euro 5. It's like a BMW um, approved one, if that makes sense. This switch gear, it looks exactly the same as it did on the R9T, but it almost looks a bit better, and I don't know why, because it's probably exactly the same stuff, but it just looks a bit nicer. Looks like it's got self-cancelling indicators as well, which is decent. So comparing this to last year's model, it's obviously got the updated, it's got the TFT screen on it. It's got the updated headlight, tweaks all around. It's obviously Euro 5 compliant and everything. For me, that front headlight, like as nice as it is, like I'm not saying it's a bad looking front end, like it doesn't, it looks really nice. 
but the problem for me is it just looks like the F900R. So if I was riding this next to an F900R, I don't think you'd really tell much of a difference until you got close. Although the twin sort of googly-eyed headlights were very divisive among people, and like the asymmetric ones that were on the S1000R as well, it gave the bike a different look. I wouldn't want to turn up on this and someone go, is that the F900 or is it the S1000? Both of them are very good bikes. I don't know, I'd want, I want people to know that I'm riding the, the S1000R. You know what I mean? I don't know, is that just me being picky? I don't know. Let me know what you think. A lot of bike manufacturers are doing it these days, like BMW Triumph, even like Honda to a degree. All of their bikes are quite, not vanilla, but they just, they, they aren't offensive looking. Although it will like inevitably sell more bikes. There's no individuality to the bike, is there? But that, that's the same with so many manufacturers nowadays. And that's why I bought a KTM, because it looks different and a bit odd. And people go, yeah, I mean, it looks odd, but it's actually quite nice. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> There's definitely a wind up, like you can feel the bike winding up and then it hits that power and it just takes off. Like those numbers just climb up on screen so quick. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then carries on. Not that I've seen 80, of course, apart from when I was on the Autobahn or in Mexico or wherever. As like a, a normal bike to ride, it's quite comfortable. I'm not like my wrists are completely unladen. Like I don't feel like I'm on my wrist at all. Right, look, watch this. It's so quick and I'm I'm short shifting as well. Like there's there's more revs. I could have stayed a second that whole time. My only concern about riding one of these is would I be wanting to pin it all the time? Because I think I would. Having it in sport mode, you get all these different like um, uh, analytics. So you've got your braking power and your traction control and all your lean angle and whatever, like I said before. But it just makes it quite fun, like if I pull the brakes on. Oh my God, they're good. Jesus, <laughs> that nearly threw me off the front of the bike. <laughs> yeah, look, ready. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, they are so powerful. I'll do it again, ready. <laughs> I have to say, it's you, you fucking dare, mate. That's what I thought. Without being up my own arse, I could probably get on most things and ride it and be comfortable riding it. But this is very quick to get on and ride like you've sort of ridden it for the last year. So I'm about 5'9", just over 5'9", and both of my feet were flat foot there, which is really nice to have. Really bored of slow. Oh my God, that thing. The bike I'm getting on after this is a lot faster. And I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, look how nosy it is. Like you just like, you can flick it in so easy. There's so much control and I just feel like I've got, I've got so much confidence on the front end of this. Oh my God, that popping is so good. <laughs> it's just like, whoa, pop, 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 pop. Come on. I should call you Sooty. This van stinks. It is a little bit searchy, like the throttle's a little bit on and off, but then I think that's because I'm in dynamic mode and I'm in third gear doing 30, so I'm not like in prime gear for it kind of thing. Jesus Christ, what is it doing? Oh, that stinks. Oh my God, it stinks so much. <coughs> would I buy this over last year's model? I think I would because just because of like the extra stuff you've got with the TFT and everything, like, I think for me, as much as I like an analog display, I think it has to suit the bike. Get past him, going way too slow. Yeah, the problem with an analog display on a bike like this, although it's fine, you kind of, 
everything else has got a TFT right now. It's got stuff like this, lean angles, and it just gives another dynamic to the bike. It is quite vibey. I don't know whether I'd buy one. If you do like a bit of track day stuff, then yeah, absolutely ideal, because it's perfect. You know exactly what it's going to do. Oh, the horn's actually quite good. It's not a weedy thing that I was expecting. It's, it's fantastic, and I think this is the problem with this bike, because I said it before with the XR, it does everything very well, but I, is it too well? Is it too, I wouldn't say character-less, I just think it's quite, um, like I said with the XR, is it quite Germanic? I don't know. If that's offensive to Germans, I do apologize. There's a lot of bumps and stuff on this road and it's handling it quite well. I feel so confident riding this bike and I, I feel like it'd be one of those bikes that it would, I, I couldn't ride it to its ability because it's just so good. Although the Super Duke's more powerful, it's in the same sort of class as this. It's still this high, like hyper naked front. But with the Super Duke, you get more, it, it's a it's a twin, isn't it? So it's, you get more from, there's more character from the twin. You've got the Tuono, the Tuono is like 18 grand. And I think these start at like 12 or 13, which is fantastic. But I think this model is probably like 17, 18. So probably around the same price as the Tuono. But you've obviously got the V4 with Tuono. But then at the same time, if you want the reliability and you want to know that every time you get on the bike, it works and it works faultlessly, this is just perfect. It is absolutely ideal. Oh my God, and these brakes are so good. I'm not even hitting that rev limit or anything. I'm not even coming close to it. Just... There's another shove of power at like seven or 8,000. everything about this bike there i don't think there's a single fault i can say riding experience wise the only thing that i can say is it's a little bit vibey oh my god wow this thing from what came off the floor <laughs> But the thing that's really nice is that there's no speed cameras around here. <laughs> no, the thing that's really nice about this is that you're riding it quick, but like I've got no worries that when I pull that brake on, doing 50 mile an hour, and I'm coming to this corner and just oh look at that! And that wasn't like that was half power on the brakes. Should try again. Oh my god! My lungs have just come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, those brakes. I mean, they're BMW branded, but like, <laughs> that's just like, oh, it actually hurts. <laughs> oh, wow. You have riding like that, and then you just stick the cruise control on and poodle home. <laughs> and it's calm as anything. 60 mile an hour coming into a 30. Pull the brakes on now. 30. <laughs> and I've got no, oh, I mean the sign says I'm doing 31, sorry. But I've got no worries about those brakes working. So it means I'm, I'm more confident going for it and more confident going a little bit faster. Absolutely sublime. Oh, listen to it. Is it a little bit too good? I don't know. Like, is it, is it too perfect that it doesn't have any character? I don't know how much battery I've got left on this GoPro, so I'll wrap up now. In general, the bike's amazing. It does everything so well. Brakes are awesome. The TFT's obviously gorgeous. Oh my God, it is stupid quick. that wind up it's just unreal anyway thanks for joining me and uh i'll see you in the next one <laughs> <laughs>